What's up everybody, Jesse Mails here, backwaterflyfishing.com. Thanks again for tuning in. Now today we're gonna to talk about a fly that I've already covered actually on this channel. It's called the Candy Corn Crawler. It's also been featured in the Tail Fly Magazine about a year and a half ago. Um, so this fly isn't one that's new to the channel or really new at all, but we're gonna color it in all chartreuse today and we'll talk a little bit about why we would do that. I already tie it in like an olive and chartreuse, which is really nice for clear water. It has really good contrast between the really bright chartreuse and the dark olive. But what happens and why would we tie this in all chartreuse? Well, for me, chartreuse, especially a full chartreuse fly, is fantastic when the water is more like a darker tea color, where it's not dark and cloudy and murky but it actually is sort of clear, but still has that dark, dark tint, whether it's coming off of mangroves or it's coming out of a canal. It's clear, but it still has that dark um, color. It looks just like black tea. For me, chartreuse does very, very well in that situation. So this is a fly that is fantastic for so many different species, intra salt water, fresh water, you name it, it's a fantastic fly. We're gonna cover it today, so let's check it out. All right, so there you go, dudes. Super simple fly, really good profile, really good presentation for bass, for redfish, for snook. Tied in all tan, obviously in different sizes. This goes from bonefish, permit, all different species on the flats. And check it out. If you haven't tied it, go back. I'll leave a link in the description for the original video where I covered it in its oranga, orangutan, 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 orange and tan color and you can check that out uh, in the link below. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you later. Deuces, hasta luego.